Hi. Welcome. Uh, welcome to this presentation of ours. Uh, my name is uh, Matthias Matthiasson. I'm a product director here at LS Retail. I would like to introduce to you a product of ours called uh, LS Recommend. LS Recommend is a machine learning solution utilizing newest technology. Uh, it's hosted in Azure, the cloud, so it's a cloud-based solution and it's a software as a service or SaaS. Meaning, in other words, we run this for you in the cloud, make it available for you, you just consume the services. Ask us with this item, this customer, what is the recommendation? This is a solution that will take your sales history and give you a recommendation what you should uh, offer the customer. It's easy to start. It's a low risk as an IT project and you pay as you go. Meaning that uh, minimum effort to get started, low risk, you can discontinue your subscription anytime you want without commitment of uh, multiple months. And it's out of the box available for two, uh, LS and AVID 2015 and newer. Recommendations are native to e-commerce and st streaming services. Who doesn't uh, re uh, recognize that in regards, for example, a sample here on the left, Netflix. Because you watch a certain movie, they recommend other movies that other people also watched. So we ha see this in, in the streaming services and also here on the right, Amazon. I buy something, they recommend other people about this, also about this, and so and so. So this is quite common today in retail and services. And we're taking this a step further to introduce it into the store also. But we will also offer the interface through the web store, the whole e-commerce uh, experience. I just recommend suggest items based on general sales history, meaning that we take the sales system, analyze that, find patterns, and uh, create recommendations. And if you have uh, used customers or uh, members, loyalty members, it includes that in this recommendation. So, you know, other customers like you also like this or or so-so. Uh, and on top of that, if you put an item into the basket in the e-commerce or you put it in the, in the transaction on the station pass or mobile pass, the system will then recommend items that are related to that. And there's a good sample of that later in our presentation. So Members or customers in this cell, I talked about that, that can be part of your uh, combination with uh, recommending. However, that's not an, a necessity. You could run this only according to the items. So you can use this, yes, without having customers or members. So then they will t see the relations between items in transaction and in purchasing patterns. I just recommend is offered both as a customer facing and staff facing on our both our platform LSNV and LS Omni. For example on the right we have an e-commerce store facing the customer and then we are planning to release I just recommend in our loyalty app, which is also facing the customer. However, on the left here you see a stationary pause, which gives the, the staff in the store recommendation according to your purchasing history, uh, what you have put already in the pause, and so on and so. And then in the middle you have the mobile pause. And the mobile pause is really 
effective in this because you have the customer out on the floor and the staff is there also with the mobile pause, they scan the item they are interested in and they get expert know-how from the sales history what this would suggest as additional purchases and they could then walk with the customer to the location assist the, the, the customer in experiencing the uh, additional sales and finalize it there before the customer uh, leaves the store. On the stationary pause you have this window like in the middle here that can be triggered either by pressing a button so the staff says uh, thinks I might need a recommendation here so it presses a button this window comes up as a recommendation for them. But even though they, they put that there, we can also configure it so it prints it on the slip, so the customer takes the slip with them with the recommendations. If the retailer wants to make sure that uh, unless recommend is used, they might put this on the total, meaning when they go to pay, press the total button, the recommendation is triggered and shown to the staff so they can relay that to the customer. Single item is also an option. For example, if you have a phone, you could scan in the phone and the system will give you all the recommendations on the accessories for that phone or that uh, specific item. And in this case, they're not doing uh, looking at the relations to other customers or members. Mobile pause both supports for an item or a total. And then e-commerce is kind of like, you know, you go and look at an item, you get the recommendation there. But it also recommends items that uh, you maybe have looked at earlier in your session because it will store up to 10 previous clicks and it uses that to, uh, to get recommendations for you on items that are related to what you have uh, clicked on in the web store. Benefits for the store owners. New way of promoting items. Items that are, are, are of interest to the buyer, so you're meaning that, that these are obviously items that the buyers want because you have the sales history that approves it. And the beauty of this is that you're uh, creating here a know-how in your system with no need of manual maintenance. So you do not need a staff at head office putting in all the relations between this accessory and that phone, for example, and maintaining the whole thing, which is, uh, most people agree, might be a lost battle. Now we're using uh, new technology, machine learning, to do this for us with the minimum effort for the retailer. This has shown to increase sales and margin. And you can, for example, do a subscription for a month, look at the reports, the reports will tell you how much uh, has been added to your sales because we register all items that come through recommendation and are sold. So we can report to you the benefit you got. So you can evaluate even every month. That shows you low risk. And this fits both for new staff, new staff on the floor with expert know-how through the app. And let us recommend. Or experienced staff getting pleasantly surprised of recommendations according to sales history that they hadn't thought about but still true. This gives you the opportunity to get to know the customers through the company data which hopefully enables staff to provide better services. Benefits for the customer. Personalized shopping experience this is very important, for example, on the, the customer facing, as there's no staff there. And also in the staff facing, because the, the, there will be meaningful information coming from the staff. And there's, 
this it enhance the product discover and findability of items and it creates meaningful conversation with the staff how easy is it to start retailer just contacts their partner partner contacts LS retail we create LS retail machine learning uh, instance in the cloud or in Microsoft Cortana intelligence we give uh, the partner a license key you go, you the retailer, go into your back office and the only thing you need to do is to put in the license key, define what the period you're going to use for sales history for last, for example, last four months. If you're going to put all items up there or just a uh, part of your segmentation of your items, you send that to the cloud and then the cloud learns, learns, learns. Now the system has created uh, relations, uh, predictions and recommendations according to the data. Now it's ready. Now it's ready for you to use it on the e-commerce, on the mobile loyalty, store pass or standalone pass and mobile pass. So these are the four touch points to the customer we are supporting which gives you a happy customer going forward. And again, easy to try, as you can then uh, subscribe for one month without any further commitment. It's a low risk, it's not a huge uh, uh, implementation. For example, you could try this one subscription for a month in two or three stores. And then when you're happy, of course, and you have measured what it's giving you, you roll it out to the rest of your stores. This uh, can, was released in 2000, LSNAV 2017, and we have uh, additions to 16 and 15, which are very simple import, and you have the functionality ready to go. You might ask, what is this going to cost me? This is monthly subscription. So you pay per month for your usage. And it's very similar to you uh, buying data plans for your mobile phone. So what you do is that you subscribe, uh, you uh, purchase a subscription pack, which includes 100,000 service requests, meaning that your system, your uh, pause, your uh, customers can request service from the LS recommend the machine learning 100,000 times and we charge 295 euros for this pack. So this is charged at the beginning of the period. Let's say you use it a lot, you see a lot of benefit, you go into uh, much higher than 100,000 then we'll charge your additional pack at the end of the month to cover that. So you pay for the time period you're going to use it. You also pay for the usage you use. Now we're going to do a, a short demonstration. I want uh, to welcome uh, Elinborg Olostotter. She's going to go through this uh, use cases. Uh, Ellen Borg is uh, our lead uh, expert on this, so enjoy. Hi, my name is Ellen Borg and I'm a developer here, a senior developer here at Alice Retail. Um, so, what I want to say is, um, Alice Recommend is developed in, collab in collaboration with the Microsoft Azure Machine Learning Team. And what we learned from that work is that it's unique to show the recommendation on the stationary POS. 
And what is unique is that it's staff facing. That is, it facilitates a humor, human interaction between the staff and the consumer. So what I want to do is to show you the recommendations on the stationary POS. So here I have the stationary POS. So like Matti said earlier, uh, in general recommendations are native to the streaming services and the e-commerce. So we all know and have used recommendations, but I want to show you how it works on the stationary POS. So what I've done is that in back of SNV, I have loaded up uh, transaction history and both just transactions and with uh, loyalty member data. Uh, and I've created a, a recommendation model in Azure. That is, I've trained a model on that data. And now I want to show you how I can interact with that model in Azure from the stationary POS. So think of me now. I am in the role of a salesperson um, working at the stationary POS. And I'm going to start by showing you how I can trigger the recommendation manually by pressing a button that I have here on the POS to the right. So here I have LS recommend and I have two buttons and I'm going to show you what functionality they're going to offer. So what you need to get the recommendation, you need an item or you need some kind of user, a loyalty member or a customer, the good old customer. So if you have nothing and I press the button, I get nothing. That's kind of obvious. I need something. So I'm going to assume I have a, a customer standing in front of me and I'm scanning back Linda. It's worth mentioning I have a model based on the on fashion items. And I'm going to ask for recommendation based on this items. So what happened here is that I sent a request to the Azure Cloud and with the, with the information about back Linda and, and back I got uh, this list of items. I got the t-shirt Linda, the leather gloves Linda, the jacket Linda and the dress shoes Linda. And this panel here is, is a non-interactive panel. So if I click on it, I cannot add an item to the, to, the, to the sales, to the transaction. And the reason for this is that we want the person, the consumer or the salesperson to be holding the item. So because it's a stationary POS, we're assuming that the salesperson or somebody, need, some staff needs to go and find the item before we scan it. And to show, so when we get the recommendation back, every item gets a score. Higher score meaning a better, um, more, that the item with a higher score is more likely to be uh, of interest to the person or to the person hold, to the item. So we see here that the t-shirt Linda got the highest score than the leather clothes Linda and the jacket Linda and the dress shoes. Another thing that you can customize is the number of items. It just, it's easy to control how many how many items you want to show here and what you show here. That is, do you want to show the image? Do you want to show the description or do you want to show the price? So I'm going to assume that the salesperson here sees that there's, there's, no, there's no queue in front of him. So he's going he's gonna to ask, have a conversation with the customer and suggest that they buy the t-shirt Linda. So I'm going to close this here and I'm going to add the t-shirt Linda to the transaction. I'm going to select a blue t-shirt size 40. And that goes into the sales. And again, I'm going to ask Azure to give me a recommendation. And if you remembered, here we see that the bottom three items, they have moved up. And we have an extra item at the bottom, skirt Linda professional wear. So the t-shirt was originally at the top. We never recommend items that are in the sales. So this is, um, so the t-shirt goes out, 
happens to be that bag linda, if you're buying bag linda together with t-shirt linda, you get the same recommendation of the three ones and you get the skirt. So let me close this and finish the sale. I'm going to pay with cash. I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to look at the slip. So this is something you configure also. If you want to print it on a slip or the receipt, electronic, electronic receipt or whatever you're going to do, you can you get the extra lines here. You might also like jacket, sorry, leather gloves, linda, jacket, linda, dress shoes, and the skirt. So it's the same recommendation as you saw before. So as Matti mentioned before, uh, you don't need member management or some customer uh, module in your system to use LS Recommend. But if you have some sort of a customer or some loyalty system, some data like that, if you include it in the recommendation, in general, you will provide better recommendation to, to your loyalty members or to your customers. So when you have uh, some user information in the sales, you will be able to provide better information. So let's see an example of this. So I'm going to add a member to the sale. I'm going to enter member card 10,001 here. And so you see here in the, in the bottom left corner, we have added Stefan Thompson to the sales. So we have no items, we only have Stefan Thompson. And I'm going to ask for recommendation. So here I get four mail items. So now I, I'm giving recommendation based on Stefan's previous purchases. So apparently, so Stefan is a male and he has been buying items for himself. And we are, so we are recommending that he also buys sweater Davis casual wear, leather bag Davis casual wear, uh, moccasins Davis casual wear, and leather shoes Davis. So this is our recommendation. However, today we are assuming that Stefan is in the store to buy a piece for his wife. His wife really likes the sweater linda. So I'm going to add the sweater linda to the, to the sales. And again, I'm going to ask for a recommendation. So here, the whole basket is considered, that is, the sweater linda, the item in the sales, and Stefan Thompson's previous purchases. So it happened to be that the sweater linda has stronger signal or stronger relations to, to female items than Stefan's previous purchases. So you could say that the sweater linda is over, overruling or at least the signal with these items so that we get only female items here. We get the blue gloves linda, the t-shirt linda wear, uh, skirt linda professional wear and the blouse. Stefan, we, we have a conversation with Stefan and we again convince him of buying the t-shirt. So again, I'm going to add a blue t-shirt here. I'm going to add this to the transaction. And if I ask for recommendation again, I see the recommendation have changed. The blue gloves are still the most relevant recommendation. I have the back linda instead of the t-shirt. I have the skirt linda again, and I have a dress shoes instead of a blouse I had before. But what I can, you see I have two buttons here. I can go back and get recommendation only for Stefan's purchase history. I can ignore the sale, just the previous. So if I press the button here, with the, I have the member label on, I'm triggering recommendation only on his previous purchases. And I'm going to close this and I'm going to finish the sale. So now I want to give you another example. Uh, Martin mentioned earlier that you can have the recommendation automatically always when you press the 
total. So now I need to go to the back office and change my settings. I'm in the LS recommend general settings, where for example, I just say I'm going to use the module or not, and I'm going to add an exit check here saying I want to show the recommendations on total. So I'll go back to the POS. I'm going to add back Linda to the sales and sweat the Linda to the sales. And I'm going to press total. And I have a recommendation. So I get the t-shirt, the blue gloves, jacket Linda and the casual wear. So the benefit here is that the salesperson doesn't have to remember to press the button. It's not the salesperson person's responsibility to trigger the recommendation. However, on the other hand, it might be annoying to have the recommendation always when you press total. So what we have um, included in our system is that you can define which item groups trigger a call to the recommendation engine when you press total. Uh, sorry? Uh, another, another thing is what we can do is that um, when you get, um, we can filter the result of the recommendation engine. We can define rules, including that you only recommend items in item groups that have high margin in general, or you can exclude the items that you don't want to recommend, like a plastic bag or, or something like that. So you can. So you can control when you trigger the recommendation and you can control what items come out of the recommendation without uh, excluding them from the training of the model because these items can uh, include information that gives you the real relations between items. So this is one of one opportunity we have. And if we finish this, I'm gonna finish the sale. And another possibility I'm going to show you is how you can filter your result with regard to stock levels. So here I'm going in back to the back of this. Here I'm in the models. There kind of a container around the data. I'm not going to go into details into this, but here I can check a checkbox saying that I want to filter the recommendation result with regard to a stock level, which I've defined to be two items, meaning that uh, the uh, recommended item needs to be needs to be at the level two, it needs to be two items available in the store at the time I give the recommendation. I'm setting it to be two because I don't want the other salesperson in the store be holding the item and selling it at the time I'm giving the recommendation. So this is the stock level in the store. So if we go back, I'll just add the sweater to the sales, press total. Now I'm showing the recommendation automatically on total. I see the recommendation and you see that to the right, I have a new column showing the stock levels in the store. So there's a lot, I have a, yeah. I have a huge inventory in store here. So this is my demonstration on the stationary POS. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to show you how it works on the mobile POS. I'm going to go here. Full screen. So now we can think of me still as a salesperson, but I'm holding the mobile POS. So I'm on the floor. I'm not standing at the till. I'm on the floor interacting with the salespeople. Sorry, with the I'm interacting with the, with the customers. So I'm going to start the sale. And I'm going to press the, the windows up here. I'm going to go to the item menu. And I'm going to add the bag to the, to the sale. I don't know if you saw, I pressed the image of the bag, but you can see that the items at the bottom, the item counter is one now, and I have some total number, and I'm going to add the blue gloves also to the sale. 
So now I'm going to go back to the to the journal, to the item journal. And I see I have the blue gloves Linda in the sales and I have back Linda in the sales. And I'm going to press the arrow to the right to go into the item details of the blue gloves Linda. So here are the item details for the blue gloves Linda. And here we see we have a, a, a button with the label recommendations. And I'm going to press a button. And what happened here is that I sent a request to the same model as same recommendation model in Azure as I had on as I was interacting with on the stationary POS and I got this recommendation back. I got the sweater Linda, the t-shirt Linda, skirt Linda and the back Linda. And now some of you might remember that I already have back Linda in the sales, but this is just recommendation for the item blue gloves. So this is just an item recommendation. And we, I didn't show it to you, but we have this, this, we have this kind of recommendation option also on the stationary POS. So if I go to the, to the sweater Linda details, so here we have something different. Here we can add the item straight to the sale, because remember I'm the salesperson, I'm on the floor, I'm mobile, while I was talking about the recommendation, I could walk the customer towards the item. I could make the customer feel the item, try it on, and and take the decision to add it to the, to the sale. So I'm going to add it to the transaction. That takes us back to the item details, and I'm going to swipe to go back to the journal. So here we see the three items in the journal. So I have three items in sales, and I'm going to go to the check out. I'm going to press the total at the bottom. Here I have the total and here again I can have a basket recommendation, a recommendation for the whole sale by pressing the I icon you can see in the top right corner above the total. So I'm going to press the I icon at the top and then again I get a list of recommendations. And again, if I go to the details of this item, I can add them to a transaction. So this is the recommendations on the till, sorry, on the mobile POS. So, and here ends my demo. So if any questions, there are questions. Uh, Can the, you mean how much he has used of the request? Uh, uh, currently, we cannot provide that. But we plan that for the future. Uh, so Matt is going to answer this. Uh, we have a question of how partners can demonstrate this to our customers. So currently, we have a model without demo data. But Matt will answer this. Uh, so I have a question here, would the recommendation given to me on the POS be per current store or only per all? It would be per all. I, if I understand the question correctly, you have one model with one item database and it would be this one model interacting. Uh, when an item is recommended at the POS, would the POS check its availability before recommending it? Yes, that's this the last demo I gave you on the stationary POS, where I defined the stock levels that the item needed to have. So here's another question. If you trigger a recommendation based on the member one and get a list of items, then one based on the basket content to get a different list. Uh, oh, yeah, so you only, only the, okay, so if you want to ig ignore the previous purchases, we don't have that. But what we have is that you can get a recommendation on a single item, like we had on the mobile POS. Uh, does Alice recommend suggest item size color according to customers' previous purchases? Um, so what we include in our model is that when we, we load the, what we call the catalog, the items, the item catalog, we include attributes to the items, which we like to call features. 
So uh, a feature could be uh, just the item hierarchy, like the item category and the product group, and also things like um, variant framework and things like that. So the result of using these features, uh, you should you should see what the customers are, are preferring. Um, a question, can it recommend only items on sale like mix and match offers? This would be the rules where you filter out. Sorry, Mati says no, I'm misunderstanding the question. No. <laughs> and then I have, can it show an item, uh, can it show if an item is a part of a promotion or recommended items based in a promotion? No, but that would be something you could check when you when you like populate the panel. You could check something like that. Uh, can you edit this presentation and provide us with your demo only? Matthias, is that possible? Send send Matti an email. Email and he will get back to you. Stock, another question, stock level in store, where is this value coming from? So this is just the inventory web service. So you just have to define, uh, well, I guess it depends on how, how well you're updating this, but we're using the inventory web service contacting head office about the stock levels. Uh, does another question, does recommend link in with the office and promote motions, for example, Add product A and recommend triggers a recommendation to add product B to trigger an offer. Uh, no. No, currently not. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but we, you can kind of force with the rules, you could force, you can filter out all items except items that belong to a product group or something like that. And that could be an item that you have defined to be an, on a uh, on an offer, so yes, there is a workaround that could maybe, yeah, could, could do this, yes. Uh, another question, can the recommendation be presented to customers on a dual display rather than a display only uh, stuff facing screen? Uh, not currently, but we have planned to do that. So in the future, yes. Yes, and then the final question is, do you have a roadmap on expected features to be added in the future? Uh, we're working on it. Our, our product owner says we're working on it. Um, there's Matthias here again. And uh, one second. So um, to finish this off, uh, some of the questions is that please uh, contact myself matti at lsretail.com. So if you have any questions, especially partners, and I'm happy to hear from everyone. But what this is, is that this is a soft as a service. And what that means is that we're going to continuously deliver into it. So the feature set we have now might be different in three months, two months. So there's not like big releases every year. You have to do something. We are continuously expanding our functionality and features. So um, I want to, any more questions for me? specifically no so i just want to uh, remind easy to try buy one uh, month uh, subscription so low risk you know you could do it in a couple of stores for a month and uh, i just want to uh, suggest that you contact your partner and uh, he would of course happily to assist you in, in starting the Alice recommend in your store to give your customer better service. 
Thank you very much and have a great evening or a great day depending where you are in the world. And uh, thank you very much. Bye-bye.